from cephalopods that break off their arms to octopuses in outer space, here are 15 of the weirdest squids and octopuses in the world. Octopuses, octopi or octopodes. Let's address a matter that always comes up whenever we feature these cephalopods. What is the plural of octopus? While octopi is widely used and accepted, it's technically incorrect. The Latin language uses the I to signify the plural, but the word octopus comes from the Greek. It's probably a mute point since the word was passed from Greek to Latin and then to English. At the worst, octopi would be an irregular plural. As for octopodes, it does correctly represent the Greek plural, but it's rarely heard, so we'll avoid it. For this episode, we're going with octopuses. As for squid, that word itself can be plural, but so can squids. Your call. Number 15. Pygmy Squids Part 1 We think of squids as being larger marine creatures, but they can turn up in all sizes. Here are a couple of examples. The two-toned pygmy squid is located in the Indo-Pacific, from the South China Sea to Northern Australia. This animal reaches maturity within 50 days and weighs a mere 0.175 grams. Number 14. Pygmy Squids Part 2 Meanwhile, the southern pygmy squid can also be found in waters of the Indo-Pacific. These animals grow less than an inch long, 25 millimeters, and are small enough to adhere to blades of grass when they need to rest. Females even deposit their eggs on grass blades in single rows, then stick around to guard them until they hatch. Number 13. Outer Space Octopuses? While octopuses can have an alien appearance, they are native to this planet, at least as far as we know. But there is a theory supported by more than 30 researchers in the UK that octopuses are not from this Earth. According to a paper published in 2018, alien viruses were carried in a meteor that crashed here more than 500 million years ago. Those viruses infected a primitive species of squid that made them evolve into octopuses. The researchers argue that the animal's physical attributes, like flexible bodies and the ability to change their shape, are evidence of their extraterrestrial origins. The vast majority of members in the scientific community have mocked these claims as unfounded and unscientific. What do you think? Number 12. Gloomy Octopus Since it favours the warm waters of eastern Australia and New Zealand, it's also known as the Common Sydney Octopus. It's one of the strangest looking cephalopods on this list, which is really saying something. They're known to use spiky structures on their skin to camouflage themselves as seaweed. Did you know that so many of these creatures congregate in Jarvis Bay of New South Wales that locals call the area Octolantis or Octopolis? Number 11. Paper Nautilus Octopus These critters are also known as Argonauts. You might recognise that name from Greek mythology. They were the heroes that joined Jason's quest to find the Golden Fleece. In the cephalopod universe, Argonaut refers to this strange octopus. Paper Nautilus actually refers to the females. They secrete a paper-thin egg case that serves as a mobile nest for their young. Nautilus and Argonaut were sailor-inspired names that don't really apply to this animal. There was a mistaken belief that they used two of their arms for sails, but they shoot water through their funnel to swim. Number 10. Flapjack Octopus these dark red critters are unique enough to be classified as their own group and have a smooth, saucer-like shape. Did you know that members of this species are the most compressed of all cephalopods? That flattened look inspires the flapjack reference. And some sources even like them to a sheet ghost. Not much is known about the animals except that they live in deeper waters and have been reported from California to Japan. Number 9. Vampire Squid its eight arms have the appearance of a cloak thanks to the webbing that connects them. That, along with their coloration and red eyes, inspire the reference. Given that the animal does have the appearance of the undead, it's no wonder that the Latin name translates to vampire squid from hell. They're bioluminescent creatures that live in waters more than 3,000 metres deep, in what is known as an oxygen minimum zone. That sort of habitat cannot sustain most complex organisms because they just can't breathe there. But the vampire squid can easily breathe and thrive in such an environment. 
Experts say that it can get by in areas that contain saturations of oxygen as low as 3%. Number 8. Telescope Octopus Here's a critter that dwells in the deep seas and is nearly transparent. But the physical feature that really sets them apart is the eyes. They're the only cephalopods known to have a tubular eyeball, which is how they get their common name. They can rotate those ocular organs independently, not unlike chameleons. While defined as an octopus, this animal displays some behaviour that is squid-like. They're usually seen drifting in tropical waters, not crawling on the sea floors like other species of octopus. Number 7. Glass Squids We just told you about the transparent octopus, now it's time for their transparent squid counterparts. Glass squids have about 60 species in the family, and most of them are known for their see-through nature. Since many of the animals live in shallow, sunlit waters, that transparency provides a great camouflage from predators. It's likewise good protection for those creatures who live in darkness more than 2 kilometers or 1.2 miles below the surface. Mantle length can reach from less than 4 inches 10 centimeters, to nearly 10 feet 3.1 meters. That larger mantle belongs to the colossal squid. Did you know it's a member of this family? Number 6. Japanese Flying Squid While the term flying squid might not be completely accurate, there are several species of these creatures that can come close. Also known as Pacific Flying Squids, they can launch themselves out of the seas by using a type of jet propulsion. They have a muscle called a siphon that brings in water from one side, then shoots it out the animal's other side. That makes the squid jettison forward and effectively fly about 100 feet or 30 meters over the water's surface at speeds exceeding 20 miles per hour. That's over 30 kilometers per hour. If you guessed they're found in Japanese waters, you'd be correct. But they're also seen along the coastlines of China, Russia, and Alaska. Number five, whiplash squid. You've heard that only about 5% of the planet's oceans have been explored, so maybe all those alien-looking deep-sea creatures shouldn't come as such a shock. And that's the case with this cephalopod, which looks like it could have originated on another world. Maybe those researchers we mentioned in segment 13 are onto something after all. At any rate, to Ninja Danny is a deep-sea squid nicknamed the Whiplash Squid. It's a reference to their long, whip-like tentacles, which, in some angles, almost resemble toothpick legs. Experts say the animal can travel at nearly 3 miles per hour, 5 kilometers per hour, and produce bright light that can be used to blind their prey. Number 4. Big Fin Reef Squid These cephalopods are named for their large, thick oval fins that extend along the margins of their mantle. They aren't the largest squid of their kind, going about 13 inches long, 33 centimeters, with the heaviest specimens weighing about 4 pounds, 1.8 kilograms. They're native to the waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans, where they're found near the shoreline and coral reefs. Like many cephalopods, they possess chromatophores, which enable them to create complex colors and body patterns that can rapidly change. But while they can appear creepy, they don't have much time to scare anyone. The maximum recorded lifespan for these creatures is no more than 315 days. Number 3. Mimic Octopus At their widest, these cephalopods have the approximate diameter of a pencil, so it's possible that nature gifted it with an amazing ability for self-protection as compensation for its diminutive size. This is the only marine creature so far that can mimic the appearance of a wide variety of local species. That includes taking the physical traits of lionfish, jellyfish, and sea snakes, among other creatures. Pigment sacs or chromatophores, as previously mentioned, allow the creature to alter its skin texture and colour so they can more effectively blend into their environment. And morphing into venomous marine animals that predators avoid ensures the octopus will avoid becoming the predator's prey. Number 2. Big Fin Squids these creatures are seen only rarely. A specimen was first caught in 1907 in the North Atlantic Ocean. Since then, five species have been identified, but only from larval and juvenile specimens. But in the late 1980s, creatures identified as long-armed squids were filmed off the northern coast of Brazil at depths exceeding 15,500 feet. That's nearly 5,000 meters. Subsequent videos have detailed specimens that look distinct from the other cephalopods, with an estimated length of at least 8 meters, 26 feet. 
Because close-ups of the creature's heads and bodies appear similar to the juvenile specimens of big fin squids, there's speculation that the animals could belong to the same species. But so far, no specimens or samples of the larger animals have been collected. To date, their exact identity remains a mystery. Number 1. The Arm Thrower Squid That strange common name is inspired by this critter's strange ability. While it looks fairly normal for a deep sea squid, researchers note that it can actually detach its own legs as a defense mechanism. When it's attacked, the squid will release one of its hook-line arms, which then wraps itself around the aggressor. The limb will even flash red and white colours while the squid escapes. While there are several species of cephalopods that can shed their limbs, this is the only one with arms that will fight while the rest of the animal makes a getaway. Thanks so much for watching! If you enjoyed, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the bell for notifications when we next upload. Cheers!